One of the biggest things when I'm coaching people, or coaching an individual, a person, is there's a turning point. And it's it's the reality pivot. And what I mean is that sometimes the hardest lessons you learn in life are from uncomfortable facts. Maybe somebody cheated on you, maybe and maybe you didn't deserve it. Maybe you were a piece of shit, maybe it's all your fault. Uh, but you're still broke, you're still heartbroken, and you don't have a plan. Maybe your life sucks. Maybe you could do more, maybe you're a loser. Maybe the world isn't fair. Maybe you haven't had any lucky breaks. Or maybe you're just lying to yourself. And the common denominator is you. And the reason I call that a reality pivot is because, believe it or not, and most people don't like to believe it, everybody goes through shit in their life. I have some very, very successful friends. Extremely successful friends. They probably earn fucking amazing money. You want to? You would not want to work their hours. It's inhuman, the amount of hours they have to work. And I have friends who don't appear to have anything, and they're really happy but they literally don't have anything. <clears throat> they don't have a car, they don't go on holiday, don't own anything, but they appear perfectly happy. Until you get talking to them, then they always moan about what they don't have and how lucky someone else has been. And you will always, all of us have met somebody or know somebody who's always complaining or starts moaning about how lucky someone else has been. It's all right for them because... I used to train in a gym, and for a while I trained with this girl. Phenomenal trainer. Fantastic. The amount of times she'd come in ranting and complaining because somebody had said to her, you know, talking about her fitness regime, the diet, oh, it's, it's all right for you, you're lucky. Yeah. Had nothing to do with luck. Disciplined in the diet, turned up and trained every fucking day, even if she'd worked a night shift. No luck involved. Zero luck. Just dedicated. Wanted it enough to be uncomfortable to go after it. And see, and this is the thing, you see. It's not that you're unlucky. It's not that they're lucky. And these are the hard lessons about life, the uncomfortable facts. Your reality is your reality. And the common denominator of your reality is you. And... You make your own luck. And guess what? That comes with absolutely no guarantees. The universe gives zero fucks how hard you work and whether or not it's going to work out. But it'll tell you something the universe can only reward. People that are taking action and trying to do something. If you're not taking action, if you're not trying to do anything, then nothing is going to happen to you nothing and it's that age old, age old cliche you know if you want to win the lottery you have to start by buying a ticket but if all your eggs are invested in the only happiness you're having that life that basket is if you win the lottery you're probably fucked because the odds and chances of it happening are slim slimmer than a Rizzler paper you got no chance probably but it doesn't mean you shouldn't buy a ticket if you'd like to one day win the lottery. If that's a dream, you have to purchase the ticket. It's the cost of entry. There is a cost to everything. It's not a sacrifice. If you want to be successful, you have to work hard at something for it to be of value to other people that they will pay for it. It's not a sacrifice. That's the cost. That's what it costs you. The first cost is the risk to take the chance. The second cost is the criticism, the feedback. The third cost is the value, the hours, the years. Sometimes you're not paying for a skill set, you're paying for a knowledge set. 
the hours that somebody's put into something, the conversations they've had, the courses they've done, the studying they've done. Forget the fact they might just be gifted in a particular way. For them to rise to the top of the, to be the tallest tree in the forest, they had to do more than everything else, more than everybody else. But it wasn't by sitting around doing fuck all. Nobody got that lucky. If you look at the list of trust fund kids who inherited fortunes and lost the fucking lot, they had all the luck in the world. And now they're bankrupt, sitting in a corner somewhere, crying in a puddle of their own piss. Because it turned out they weren't that bright and didn't know how to handle the money. It happens to everybody and anybody. You can even have the most astute business person out there who just has a bit of bad luck and loses millions and ends up bankrupt. It happens to the best of people. There are no guarantees, there are no plans. But if you want something, only you can go after it. And that's the uncomfortable fact. That's the harsh lessons of life. It's on you with no guarantees. And the universe doesn't give a fuck if you think it's fair or not.